Well, thank you so much for that. Hurricane uh, Florida bracing for Hurricane Milton. We have been on Hurricane Watch this week. This is moving in less than two weeks after Helene ravaged parts of the southeast. And this morning, people are having to evacuate again. Hurricane Milton is more than 500 miles southwest of Tampa in the Gulf of Mexico. And it is forecast to make landfall tomorrow night or Thursday morning as a Category 3 major hurricane. Fox's Kennedy Hayes is live in Lakeland, Florida with a look at how people are preparing for the storm. Kennedy, what are you seeing this morning? Abby, well, I can tell you the ones that are choosing to stay and ride it out here in Polk County are stocking up on those last-minute essentials. I mean, I feel pretty fine. This would be my first, I guess, major hurricane and pretty much just filling up gas so that the generator can run. It's a little bit daunting. Um, I am from the area, and uh, this is not the first hurricane I've been through, but it's been a little tough on this one. Uh, everything's running out. Gas is hard to find. Um, plywood's hard to find. Food's hard to find. Everything's hard to find. We're putting boards on the windows on this one. We haven't done that ever before. Where I am in Lakeland, Florida is right in between Tampa and Orlando. This area was hit by Helene just two weeks ago, but saw little damage to homes, mostly just flooding and lots of debris. Lakeland is in Polk County. It's one of more than 50 Florida counties that's been asked to evacuate. The line of cars at several gas stations this, in this morning in this area has been very long. People tell me grocery stores are crowded and shelves are empty. Schools in this area have been canceled for the rest of the week, and city officials say shelters are opening today. Almost all of Florida's West Coast is under a hurricane watch and hurricane is expected to make landfall late this Wednesday into Thursday morning. In Lakeland, Florida, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 13 News. Hey Kennedy, I do have just one follow-up question for you. You know, you mentioned this. I've seen that people in Florida don't have to necessarily evacuate hundreds of miles away and that other shelters are opening up closer by. Can you break down more specifics about those options for folks? Yes, yeah, so first we're about 45 minutes from Tampa. So those who are coming from Tampa have tons of options across Polk County. There's about 12 shelters that open starting at noon local time today. A bunch of them are at high schools, middle schools, and elementary schools. And also there are pet friendly options and options for people with special needs that will be opening as well today. Kennedy Hayes reporting live in Florida. Thank you so much for your critically important reporting. Please stay safe. All right, let's talk about the forecast. So this is making landfalls a major hurricane. Florida's west coast tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. Leftover debris from Helene could become very threatening projectiles. Uh, we're talking about the potential for injuries and then damaging the exterior of homes and buildings. Thankfully not a repeat for Georgia and the Carolinas, but a potential hit to Tampa. They had record storm surge from Helene up to seven feet in the Tampa Bay area. This could be more than twice that, 10 to 15 feet. That's about like three abbeys tall. We're also expecting the impact through Thursday. Rain totals from five to 12 inches. Isolated cases up to 18 inches. That is so dangerous. Damaging winds, also a real potential threat, and isolated tornadoes today and tomorrow. It's a Category 4 right now, and it could flirt with Category 5 strength today. So right now, winds 150 miles per hour, barely shy of a Category 5. It's moving over very warm waters as we put this into motion. It will encounter a little bit of wind shear, and that can tend to weaken storms. But even then, it's still going to be a Category 3, a major devastating hurricane by the time it makes landfall. You see in the red and blue color those hurricane and tropical storm warnings. This has uh, marked the lowest pressure in a storm in the Atlantic Basin since 2005, the strongest hurricane in the Atlantic since Hurricane Dorian in 2019. Uh, this is the worst system in over a century for West Central Florida. Impacts hinge on the landfall location. Tampa Bay, by the way, has been preparing for a direct strike over the years. Uh, they did uh, some tests in the aughts. And over 180 years of records, Tampa has only had two hits from major hurricanes. That was back in 1921 and 1848. We're not just watching what to expect in the Gulf, but our local forecast as well. And our chief meteorologist, Brian McMillan, with the very latest coming up a little bit later on. I'll send it back to you.
Milton will be the fifth hurricane to make landfall in the U.S. this year. Scientists say its intensity shows the possible dangers of human-caused climate change. And while hurricanes aren't happening more frequently, they are becoming more intense. And that's because warmer ocean temperatures cause more powerful storms, bringing heavier rainfall and severe flooding. Scientists say the Atlantic Ocean, where hurricanes that hit the U.S. form, has been hotter than average the past 18 months. And now scientists are looking into whether climate change is causing storms to gain strength quicker.